Houston. Where's my baseball bat? It probably fell behind your bed or something. I asked where it is, so where is it? I know you have it. Promise I don't. You're gonna pay for this, Jordan. Come get breakfast! Coming! All right, breakfast is served. So what do you guys think of the new house? It's okay. Why are the long faces? Nothing. Machine says, "Have a nice day." Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a nice day. He's on a um, work trip. He'll be back in a couple weeks. Well, um, at least you have a dad. Really, really nice to have one again. What happened? Well, he died at a gas station. Sorry. But it was really strange. What do you mean? Well, I gave him this really special jacket a couple years ago. And he's been wearing it ever since. But when he was murdered and we found him,
Is that, is that Isaac's bat? No baseball bat, and ew, what is this red liquid on the ground? Me. See that white spot? Yeah, what about it? There used to be blood there. What do you mean? Go ahead and turn around. Okay. A couple days ago, I was skipping around the house, and outside I saw my brother's baseball bat. I went upstairs to get him, and, and um, when we came back outside, poof, it was gone. The creepiest thing was, the night before, I saw a man standing in my yard. Also, what does your dad's jacket look like? I know who stole his jacket. Man, I gotta get some food. What is that? Buddy or a monster? Buddy or a monster? Buddy or a monster? Monster. Your job? Oh, I hate it. I hate my job so much. I just 
It pays so well. I can't help it. Well, at least when Dad gets back, he'll cheer you up. That's true. I hope so. Then he can get a job and I won't have to work anymore. Well, you know how I've been saying that your dad's been on a business trip? Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't been entirely honest with you. He's actually been in a mental institution for the last two months. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm lying to you, but he's been in a mental institution for the last Maybe I'll just walk around the yard. Maybe that will calm me down. Hey, Nathan, going in for the kill. All right, I'm heading towards it. Oh, come on! Damn it. I'm gonna go use the restroom. You know how to? Shut up. SCTV News. Today is a very tragic story in Brooksville, where the family of David Long is devastated about his disappearance. Once a peaceful place, now people are checking their doors twice to make sure. This is not the first disappearance reported in recent times. An 18 year old Brooksville High student disappeared two months ago prior to this attack, and it's still under investigation by local law enforcement. With the second disappearance, She's really shy, so she's plucking grass over there. That's totally off topic. Um, I know that your family has been going through really rough times, 
and I don't want to stress you out more, but my house is right across there and my window faces your backyard and every now and then I see uh, someone staring into your window and yeah, it's just creepy. Um, well, I gotta go. It's dinner time, so, um, bye. Ooh. Hey, June. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I just fell asleep. Um, what's up? How are you doing? How's Jordan? Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. Oh, that sounds crazy. Um, what am I doing? Uh, I was waiting for a ride at this park. It's been an hour. I fell asleep. Yeah, actually, that sounds really great. Um, it's getting really cold out here, and I've been here forever.
just came back from New York and I saw this really fun creek that I was wondering if you want to go hang out. Sure. All right. Oh, hold that thought. Uh, the creek is just right over here. So cool. Hold on. Hey, um, do you want to play a game? Let's play tag. What? Tag, you're right. Oh yeah, uh, at school, when I was at school, I heard that there was a monster out back. Yeah, and that's why you should totally not be here. Just leave. But I was dared to go out back. <sighs> yep, and the door's right here. We're gonna be all right there out with you. I can't believe he fell for that. I know. <laughs> Should probably turn the light on. Yeah. <sighs> so where does that window face? The backyard. <laughs> Wait, all right. Is he talking about the guy you saw in your backyard? Yeah. Um, is he safe out there? Pretty much. Okay. Not funny. <laughs> oh my oh. I thought you said he was safe. Let's just go down the stairs and check on him. He, he must have gone home, right? I think so. I mean, where else could he be? You know what? I can't see anything. Let's go inside and get some uh, flashlights. Okay. Perfect. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. The whole porch is covered in red. He's probably dead somewhere, and it's all gonna be my fault. I'm gonna get in trouble for it. That's it. I'm just.
I know it's not the best thing to say after not seeing you for two months, but have the police ever come back? No. So we had to go catch him? Yep. Let's not catch him. I know this is kind of crazy, but I might have an idea to catch him. Yeah, it does kind of sound crazy. So here's the creek, right? And there's your house. That's about how close it is. And here's us. And Batman usually will most likely come at night. So we just gotta go over there and get him. So yeah, that's the plan. I mean, like, how do we know he's gonna be there at the creek? We don't even know if he goes there or not. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. So we're gonna need bait. Not me. Yeah, it's gonna be me. So you're going to risk your life for something that is 100% my problem. Well, yeah, that's kind of what friends do. I'm sorry I have to go on these late night trips. Yeah, sucks. Oh, all right. Well, I gotta get going. Oh, yeah, I really gotta get going. Um, I love you, and let's say bedtime by 10, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think I left my bathroom outside. So what did you bring in the bag? Oh, um, I'll show you.
water and cookies? Well, I didn't want my mom knowing I brought a pistol to a sleepover. Okay then, let's just find a tool that we can kill a person with. Yeah, this will be good enough. So you got your weapon? Yeah. Well, all we have to do now is just wait for him to get here, which it'd probably be better if we go up to your bedroom so we can see the backyard. Okay. Look, I shouldn't have acted the way I did. I'm, I should have stuck there with you, with everything we were going through. Yeah, I'm sorry for tying you up in all my problems. <laughs> I guess we can both screw up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't be saying it's your turn. We should just give up. It's taking forever. Well, we can't just give up. He could arrive at any second. Whatever. Plan didn't work. I have to get my shoes in. Then we'll get out of here. Where have you been? 
I'm just scouting around looking for that guy. Are you in pain? Do we need to take you to a hospital? I don't think so. Copy of that. Yeah. Oh my god! Look out! Oh my god! I'll be fine. Dad, get over here and help! I don't know what to do! I love you, I'm sorry I let this happen. You don't have to be sorry. I love you too. Bye. Check it.